And, and you know, we was in my kitchen last night talking real estate, little things. You know, and I tell Sean like that. Uh, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm, we're, I'm the foundation for my family to start something different that's I'm going to change my life forever. You, the foundation, you, you're doing stuff for your family that you're not talking about. You told me a little game last night. You literally, from Terrence Crawford on, the Crawford family will be changed forever. How important was that when you started boxing? Well, it's very important. You know, I always, like me and Sean, we was in the car, we was just chopping it up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I always told him, like, I always look at, you know, the generations before me, mm -hmm. you know, and to see where they went wrong at. Like, yeah. the old fighters that made millions and millions of dollars that, you know, when you see them going to the events, you know, they got the, a suit on from yeah, 1980, yeah, yeah. you know, that they had Mom, way back funny. in the days. <laughs> And you're just like, dang, man, it's sad to see all these great fighters that put their life on the line, yeah. you know, that been in all these wars and gave they, they life, heart and soul to the sport of boxing mm -hmm. that didn't give them nothing in return, you know. So my thing was, you know, I, you know, was blessed enough to encounter people that was business smart and that, you know, believed in me and, you know, took me by the arm and, and said, hey, listen, do this with your money, do this with your money, invest in this, try to invest in this, learn this, learn this. And, you know, I took heed of that and just did what they said. And, you know, now, you know, I really, you know, is on a different yeah. stage in my life because of that. But if I wasn't, you know, around those type of people, you know, then, I wouldn't be in the situation that I am now because I'll still be around the same people that I grew up with back in the days that's doing the same thing mm -hmm. that we was doing 15 years old mm -hmm. that we doing at 34. So it's just like, you know, I separated myself from all my friends that I used to grow up with and that I was kicking it with, that I was hanging out with, you know, years ago. And God just kept blessing me, blessing me, blessing me, blessing me. And it's just like, you know, that's a testament to where you know, they say, you know, you are the company that you keep, you yeah. know? So if you're around positive people that got something going for themselves, that's doing pot things, you know, to grow, then you will grow yeah. as well. Cause you got no choice. You don't mm -hmm. want to be sitting around somebody, you know, while they doing big things and you sitting there like, Hey, can I get a handout? Yeah. So, you know, that was one of the things that I've done. And I told Sean, I said, Hey, Sean, you know, you got any real estate? I said, man, you need to own some property. And then he was just like, yeah, I got a couple of houses. I said, man, get more. <laughs> get more if you can, because God ain't making no more land. Man, yeah, well, this you guy know, plays Monopoly. He's better to stack up some houses. That's the Tony Soprano quote. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And so we went to the- You watch uh, The Sopranos? Nah, not at all. <laughs> he got it from, yeah, he probably right, heard so, it from someone. So That's we, a Nebraska quote. That's from Soprano, but no. That's so an we Omaha crow. <laughs> so we went to the, uh, we went to shoot paintball, you know, and I said, you know what? I bet you this guy don't even own this land. I said, ain't no way. He said, nah, he's a smart guy, man. He, I bet you he own this. I said, I bet you he don't. I said, whoever owned this land, rent it out to him because that's an easy check. So we went in there. I said, hey, how you doing, sir? I said, you the owner? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you own this land? He said, no, oh, I wish. I looked at Sean, he said. <laughs> so I told you. You know what I mean? So he paid, you know what I mean, a, a significant amount to build that, you know, paintball field mm -hmm. on a property else land. that mm -hmm. they ain't got to do nothing but collect the check every month. And I was telling them, you know, it's all different type of real estate opportunities that you can do to build generational wealth.